Hello everyone. Welcome to this new video. This is the final part of the rocket model with the nozzle meshing series. In our earlier videos, we had discussed about the meshing of the fore body of the rocket and the nozzles individually. In this video, we will discuss about how to combine both the blockings and generate a full grid for the entire rocket model. To start with, I have saved both the project files into the same folder using the save to new folder option in version 7. This option helps to copy the surfaces used by the individual topologies into a single folder. First I'll load the four body topology into the workspace and then load the topology of the rocket tail along with the nozzles. The load template option provides an easier workflow to load multiple topologies into the same workspace. The advantage of using the load template option over the regular load topology is that it provides options to transform the input topology while loading. However in this case I am loading the nozzle topology without any transformation. Make sure that the corner group and the surface group are set to the option all. Now we have both the topologies loaded. Moving to merging, the main criteria to merge two topologies is to have a similar block pattern and the same number of faces. In our current case, we can visually see that the pattern of the topology matches. But it also apparent that the number of faces differ. Since as version 7, we do not have a direct probing tool to count the faces in each direction. So I am using the block corner count to match the faces. Let's first check the difference in the number of corners between two groups. The group C1, which is the four body topology, has 60 corners and the group C2, which has the tail topology, has 140 corners. We can see an obvious difference in the number of radial sheets. The four body topology has 3 and the nozzle topology has 7. So let me add the four inserts in the four body topology to match the radial cross sections. We also need to check if the circumferential corners in each sheet are the same. Both has 20 corners in its circumference. Now that we have matched the number of corners, we will have the same number of faces on both the topology sheets. The sheets can now be merged with the merge option. enabling the checkbox would move the merged sheet to the center of the two given sheets when two topologies are merged the interface boundary becomes an internal boundary that is the orientation of the plane is changed to two sided and the corresponding topology sheet is frozen at that location however here i am deleting the plane which is at the interface this is an optional step since the merging is done i am checking on the validity It reports that the topology is valid to generate the grid. The topologies had the density in each block balanced when we had created them in the earlier videos. It is not altered unless there is a conflict. So here I am skipping that step and going ahead with the grid generation process. The grid generator has run for about 3000 sweeps and has no surface faults. Let's load the grid into the UI to analyze the quality. The jump in growth ratio seen around the fins will be automatically corrected when the boundary layer clustering is applied. In the rest of the regions, the grid looks good visually. If we check on the quality statistics, the grid has no volume faults and the max skewness is 0.77. Now that we have a good oiler grid, we can generate the boundary layer on the rocket body, fins, stakes and nozzles. The surface grid sheet IDs of each of the mar body 1 fins 4 6 7 and 8 stakes 5 and 9 and nozzles 13 17 21 and 25 We will set a first cell spacing of 1e power minus 3 with the default growth ratio Clicking on apply adds a boundary layer and loads the grid into the UI. The boundary layer calculates the required number of cells in the normal direction of the surface to ensure a smooth transition. Let me summarize the steps. Step 1 was to load the two different topologies of rocket for body on the nozzle using load template option. In step 2, we matched the number of faces at the interface topology and generated the grid. 
The final step was to add the boundary layer to the body, fins, stakes and the nozzles. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or you want us to post any specific tutorials, please leave your comments below or write to us on Twitter. The social media links can be found in the description. Do subscribe to the channel to get updates on new videos.